Okay, so I just had something really interesting from 52Pi. And just to give you a sense of scale, this is a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's pretty big. Uh, so let's have a look what's in the box. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a huge bit of metal uh, with some HDMI cutouts and an SD card cutout and a nice 52Pi logo on it. But I've also got four boxes as well. And it's what's in the boxes that I was more interested in when I got asked when I got offered one of these. Oh, they're different. Oh, no, I think they're the same. Uh, so let's have a look. So the kit is obviously for a rack mounted kit, but it was more the little individual bits that, that got me interested um, because there's some nice little breakout adapters for the Pi. Here's some heat sinks and some nuts and bolts. Uh, I have a fan and it's a bit bigger than the normal fans that you would get uh, on a Pi. So hopefully that will be a bit quieter than some of the others. And here we've got an HDMI extender, uh, but also an SD card extender. And it uses this little adapter. And I just thought it would be possibly a cool thing to put in my rack case uh, to redirect some of the HDMIs and things like that just as an experiment. But just in general, it's nice to see something different on the Pi. So let's get my Pi, and I've only just got this one. I got this one from CEX. This is second hand. Uh, and I want to do a test to see if USB boot works on it. But uh, first of all, I'm going to see if these adapters fit on nicely. Uh, so take out the existing SD card and pop that in. Fits nice and snug and you can see that's aligned perfectly on there. Then I've got my HDMI adapter, which I guess must be in that one because that then makes it flush with this. So we're putting HDMI and SD card in a handy space. So think of uh, things like arcade cabinets and uh, various different cases where you don't necessarily want all the connections to be on show, but you do want them to be accessible. And this effectively has moved everything to one panel, just like uh, the DeskPi Pro case and various other ways of doing it. But uh, yeah, it looked really interesting when I saw it. So I need to pop my cable in. Okay, so that's one cable in and click that down. And the second cable in, clip that down. I think that's in all right, yeah. So you can see that's how it looks. There you go, that's the first bit on, just a screw into this. Oh, I see, so it fits over the GPIO pins on the end. So I guess it's probably the last six. Yeah, it has to be the last six because that obviously lines up perfectly when I do that. So this all lines up, you can see I've got my SD card slot, I've got my HDMI and I've got all my USBs and my Ethernet all there. Uh, and it's just four screws that attach the board. So you can see one, two, three, four. And if I pull this out of the way, you can see those are the ones. And we've got the possibility of having four Pies in that configuration. Very nice. So just a heads up, the Pi 4 that I'm going to be using is uh, one that I got second hand from CEX. Uh, it's not much cheaper, but it was a little bit cheaper. It was £50 and I think £2 for postage, so it was reasonable, but nowhere near as cheap as they used to be. Yeah, it wasn't long ago that I bought one for £36 for a Pi 4 4 gig on eBay, and it was a revision 1.2. The one that I've got is a revision 1.1. And you can see from this image, so the differences are circled. There was a few things they changed on the Rev 1.2, uh, but have a look at that video if you want. But there was a USB-C power issue uh, with the original one, uh, but only on expensive USB-C chargers. And also they changed a little tiny bit so that the SD card wouldn't knock a little bit off the board. To be fair, my uh, revision 1.1 still works absolutely fine. And now I've got two of them, so hopefully this one works. So let's have a look at this mount again. Uh, so there's a wiki page uh, and also put uh, Amazon links in when I've got them. But uh, 19 inch rack mount specifically designed to house Raspberry Pi 4B board. And you can see it fully loaded there. Yeah, so it looks like uh, you can power it from a separate adapter. Uh, obviously, yeah, the USB-C socket is still accessible. Uh, fan DC board. See, in this configuration, they're showing it uh, where they've only got that power and they haven't got any USB-C. So I wonder if it can be powered by just a adapter. I don't know if I've got one that will fit that. So the first power adapter I tried, uh, which was under my desk, which is the one from the Raspad 3, uh, actually fits perfectly. 
Uh, and when I checked on here, uh, it says DC in 5 volt. Now I assumed that the RASPAD uh, power adapter was 5 volt, but if I switch it on, it goes like a rocket. Uh, it's very, very powerful. Uh, it's really kicking out a lot. Uh, and when I look at the power adapter, it's actually a 15 volt. So uh, a bit more power than needed. I just figured because it was the RASPAD, it was a 5 volt one. But uh, obviously it goes through a separate board and then that board goes into the Pi. So don't plug things in that are the wrong voltage. So I'm all plugged in, full size HDMI, USB-C for power, which is the standard Pi power adapter. And I've got my keyboard there. So let's switch on. Okay, so I'm getting an error, but I would imagine that either the cable is not fully fitted or it's in the wrong way around. So I might try the cable the other way around, this ribbon cable. Okay, so I've flipped the ribbon cable over. Let's switch it on and try again. Okay, so quite a bit of time has passed uh, and I seem to have worked things out. Uh, basically, this adapter on this particular Pi doesn't seem to work. The SD card side of it doesn't seem to work, uh, which is weird. Uh, so I disassembled it. I've used the other three. I've used each cable configuration, used each adapter. But uh, after all that, I figured the only one thing I hadn't changed was this Pi, the one I've just got. And uh, it is a first gen one and it's probably not been updated for ages. So I figured I'd plug it into my DeskPi Pro Pi, uh, which is a, that's a two gig Pi 4 in there. Uh, and I've used this adapter with this ribbon cable and the SD card and it booted first time. So I probably need to do a software update on this to make it compatible. Uh, very strange, but it seems to be that uh, it's either something to do with this or the software on this that's not making it work. So normal booting now from the Pi with the SD card in and it boots fine. So now I need to update the EEPROM. So Control Alt T to open the terminal and sudo raspi config. And then we go to advanced options, bootloader version, use the latest boot ROM and yes. And OK. So now if I do finish and reboot. OK, so after much messing about, I finally managed to get it to work. And it was nothing to do with the, uh, the case or the adapters. It was to do with that Pi. So this is my other first gen Raspberry Pi 4. And it works absolutely fine. Booted straight away from the SD card adapter. And uh, everything's perfect. Uh, and if I pop the fan on top, so like this. The fan is super quiet. I'm really, really impressed with the fan. I just, I can almost, I can barely hear it. It is, uh, it's probably the quietest fan of this type that I've ever had. And I like the way it fits on because you don't even need to screw it on. Look, it is just sitting on the hat. Now I haven't got any heat sinks on here at the moment, but uh, obviously it comes with heat sinks. But I'm not a big fan of putting heat sinks on the Pi. I think this will cool it enough. So I'm really impressed with all these components really. So the SD card adapter with the ribbon cable that reroutes it. Uh, you can just use the HDMI adapter on its own. It doesn't need the ribbon cable at all. So if you just want to get HDMI to be at the front of your Pi and you're not worried about SD card, then just one of those adapters would work fine. Uh, but if you want to do both, then obviously you need the ribbon cable to do the SD card bit. Uh, and the fan is completely independent and works great. Well, thanks very much to 52Pi for sending me this 4 Pi rack mount case for Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, it is great. I'm really impressed with it. I really like the fan, so I've got four of these now. Uh, I really like the way I've got a full-size HDMI adapter very simply that goes at the front of the Pi. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice kit. Okay, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.